same two up and two down that you had, what, how many years ago? Got your first I've lived album. there since I was 11. Yeah. And you still got it? Yeah. It's where the Who started. When Mum went out to bingo and we would push her bed up against the wall and then come the drum kit. Oh, and, the, and, the, and they were so, the neighbours were so glad that I'd given up the bugle. <laughs> 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 but the noise of the who was a pleasant relief. <laughs> oh, it must have been. <laughs> but you're a bit of a squire of the manor now, is that correct? No, no, not at all. I'm a, I, I, I bought an old house in Sussex right. uh, about 30 odd years ago. Yeah. And uh, I, I got into farming. I mean, terrible mistake, but I got you into it. Into farming? <laughs> yeah, I became a farmer. I got, because I, I lived in the country and I thought, well, you can't just live here and use it as a dormitory. There are people that live there and, and they have to work. So I thought, oh, I'll get into what they do and I became a farmer and uh, so it's kind of it's kept, kept my feet on the ground. Is he a very fish farmer? I'm totally no, I, I, then I got into fish farming which is another story you don't want to go there. All right. I mean, so uh, a proper farm, cows, I've got cheeks, a, I've, got, I had a beef, I've got a beef farm and now we're farming worms. Worms? <laughs> yeah we're worm farming now. Is that a farm? fish? No, no, oh. no. <laughs> no <laughs> we're, we're, being clever, <laughs> <laughs> we're farming worms and it's hopefully the future of uh, organic waste disposal. Really? Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're experimenting with it. Who believed that the who, smashing <laughs> guitars over their heads, I know. would end up farming worms? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't actually farm the worms. I've got a guy that does, does it, it, but, yeah. I'm but you're interested. I'm, I'm paying for it, and it's and costing me a fortune at the moment. I'm interested in it because I think it's, uh, it's something that we need to do. We're running out of holes in the ground to put this stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now, of all the groups that I've ever had to read notes about, the who, I mean... Yeah, you don't want to go there, It's then. unbelievable. You weren't exactly the shy, retiring types, were you? No. You went around smashing guitars over each other's heads? Yeah. Yes. Just mashing up studios and all on your set? No, we Where did that come from? Well, I, I don't know. It's, it's, all, it's all been uh, kind of blown up a bit bigger than it actually yeah. was, but we did have our, our moments. Blown up uh, a bit bigger? Did you not get a fractured jaw on stage? I got a fractured eye socket. Um, <laughs> so it's been blown up. It wasn't oh, yes, nothing it was serious. No, that, 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 was, that was an accident at a rehearsal. Uh, oh, uh, I thought it was in a show. No, no. It was, it, we were doing a sound check in Hyde Park. We were playing for the Prince's Trust. And it was the night before we were doing a sound check. And uh, we were doing a show and we had guest stars on. And one of the guests was Gary Glitter. And uh, who doesn't know what a sound check is? A sound <laughs> check is when you go on the stage and you listen round to make sure that everybody can hear what everybody else is doing. And then you do it the night before the show. And so we're in the middle of Hyde Park on 28th of June, and it's pouring with rain, freezing cold, as it would be. And uh, <laughs> I'm doing a sound check, and I'm walking around the stage listening to what they can hear. And Gary, who doesn't know what a sound check is, decides to do his show to nobody. And he swung a microphone stand around his head <laughs> while I was standing directly behind him. The foot of the microphone completely fractured my eye socket. Oh and this is the day me. before the show. So we can't blame the Who for that. We can't. No, so that, so that wasn't the Who. But, but you were we all very unusual, weren't you? Keith Moon, I mean, like Keith was. You, I know you, you <laughs> Keith. I mean, is this right that he got himself into the band? Because we've got two versions yeah. of this. Yeah. That he got himself in the band by coming up on the stage and just saying, "This this drummer up here is rubbish," or something like that. Yeah, it, that's exactly it. I mean, we we had a session drummer sitting in with us, so the word was out on the circuit that we needed a new one. And uh, we were halfway, we just finished a song, we're halfway through our set, and this child stood, at, was standing at the front in a, in a bright ginger suit, and he had bright ginger hair with these great big brown eyes, looking up at me like this, and he says, I can play miles better than that guy, can I have a go? So I looked at him, you've got to be joking, he goes, well, if you want. So he got on the drums, and we played a blues song. We played, I think we played Bo Diddley's Roadrunner. And uh, we just played the, the normal song. And we used to go into this free form kind of jamming stuff at the end. And we started to go into that and the feedback started and things. And it was like this jet engine starting up behind <laughs> us. <laughs> and pretty wild, wasn't it? Moon was so wild. And at the end of the song, he had destroyed this session drummer's drum kit. I mean, the bass pedal was broken, <laughs> the snare drum scheme was broken, the drums had spread apart. He had so much energy, yeah. this guy. Yeah. You he always felt that a film should have been made about him, didn't you? I'm you said make a, a, you're you're going to make it. it. I'm going to do it. Oh, good, you've got Are you going to play him? No, 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 no. No, I'm producing it. Oh, I see. Who's going to play, play him? Because yeah. he's a wild character, isn't he? Well, I, may, I mean, my first choice to play him, would, would, and I've talked to the guy, 
Uh, I'm very good friends with Mike Myers, but oh, uh, oh, yes, whether yes. he'll do it or not is going to be dependent on the script. Because right. I don't just want to make a biopic, and it's, right. and it's just not a, a film that, that's funny. Yeah. He had a very tragic side to him, him yeah. and he, it, it, it's going to be a roller coaster of emotion. Oh, I think it's And a very amazing. difficult film to make. I've been 10 years on it so far. I mean, you it know might about take it. me another 10 years, you and it might be too it. old to play it, but I'll get there one day. But you know about it because you've been in movies yourself. You, you know, you did Tommy, you did Vic Yeah, but that's, Vicar. On the, that's on the acting side. Yeah. Yeah. That's the easy bit, Des. Yeah. And we've got this new, well, it's not, it's a, it's a compilation of all the Who's best ever. What's it called? The Ultimate Collection, isn't it? Yeah, this is the ultimate collection. I don't <laughs> know what, I, I mean, I suppose it is. It's almost, it's everything we ever did, and it's recut on, on CD. Uh, it's been remastered. And... Uh, for some reason or the other, I don't know why, but we've seemed to have ended up at this age, and we've got a whole new audience out there. Yeah. The, the band seems to be bigger than ever. There's something about the way Townsend wrote those songs that came from a very personal place yeah. uh, about subjects in your life that pass on from generation to generation, and they don't actually change. So yeah. every new generation that comes through seems to identify with the Who, so our, we've been very lucky that our career has gone on so long. I think it was the Beatles, the Rolling Stones and you guys over the years, so good luck. Stick around. Uh, and yeah, it. and they're still doing it. We, we just come back from the States. We've had a sell-out tour. The Stones are out there now on a sell-out. Bigger than ever for you in the States. Bigger than ever. Yeah. The Stones are out there bigger than ever. The McCartney's out there bigger than ever. Fantastic. It's yeah, incredible. It's amazing. Lovely oh, people want songs. They do. When yeah. are you going out there, Des? Oh, I might. I, don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I think I just might do that. What do you think, Roger Daltrey? Great to see you, Roger. Great to see you, mate. Great to see you, Roger Daltrey. Nice to meet you, too. I'll be back after this, by the way. Great, mate.